Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk with Lempromelon. My name is Bilal Zafar and I'm VP Engineering at Lempromelon. Today, my colleague Harun and I will be presenting LM Risk Five DV, an open source solution for accelerating design and verification of Risk Five processors. Lempromelon is a global SOC design and verification services company. We're working on cutting edge Risk Five processor core verification, delivering system design solutions in avionics, telecommunication, and imaging and offering Linux drivers and BSP development services for RISC-V and ARM-based systems. Today, we'll be focusing on an exciting project that we recently open source, the LM RISC-V design verification environment. A CPU verification environment includes RTL of a design under test, a test bench environment that includes your driver, monitor, and scoreboard, a test generator to generate the instruction stream, and a golden reference model to compare the output of the DUT RTL for a pass or fail. Now, designing all these modules from scratch is very time and resource intensive. What we propose is not to reinvent the wheel, but use existing infrastructure in a coherent environment. That's what LM RISC-V DV provides. It's an open source environment that integrates existing tools and IPs so you don't have to start from scratch. The heart of LM RISC-V DV environment is SOAR family of cores from Western Digital. Our first release integrates the SOAR EH1 core, which is a 32-bit dual issue core with a nine-stage pipeline. Integrated with this SOAR core is the RISC-V DV instruction set generator from Taolu, which was presented in the summit in 2018. It's a UVM-based instruction stream generator, which provides some cool features like randomization of page table, interrupt handling, etc. For the golden reference model, we use Spike ISS from RISC-V International. LM RISC-V DV combines these three IPs and tools into an integrated design and verification environment that allows you to jumpstart your processor design and verification work in no time. How to get your hands on this environment and get more details, I'll hand it over to my colleague, Harun Shafiq. Over to you, Harun. Thanks, Blal. So the environment flow begins either from ITL compilation or test generation. After the random tests are generated, they are compiled into binding hex files which are needed for RTL simulation. If you want to run a directed test, then you only need to compile the test. Once the RTL and tests are compiled successfully, hex files are loaded into the memory and instructions are executed on the core. During simulation, execution log is generated with the help of tracer. Now for verifying the functional behavior of the core, we need to compare the execution log with some golden reference. And this is where Spike ISS comes in. On simulating the test on Spike ISS, an execution log is generated but in a format different from Tracer's execution log. So before post simulation comparison, both the log files are converted into CSVs in the same format. These CSV files are then compared instruction by instruction and look for update on destination register. If it's same in both the CSVs for all the instructions, then test is passed, otherwise it fails and a log consisting of first few mismatches is generated. These mismatches will help you in debugging the functionality of the core. And in the end, we can generate the code coverage report and extract functional coverage from the CSV files. So this is the link to get the repository the top level hierarchy of the environment is shown here. Scripts directory contains two files. Core integrate clones the swerve and risk v dv repositories, checks out to the latest tested commit versions, and then integrate the core into this environment. And toolchain paths list some path variables which are needed for compiling the tests. This tree diagram shows the directory and file structure used for integration of swerve h1 in the environment. If one needs directed tests to cover some specific scenarios, they will be placed in directed test directory. Some of the scripts and sources from RISC-V DV are modified specifically for Swerve EH1. They are placed in scripts and source directories respectively. LM RunPy and LM CurvePy scripts generate and execute commands for test generation, test compilation, spike simulation, and extraction of functional coverage. Files in a RISC-V DV extension folder are really important. For generating tests specific to the core architecture, key options are set in RISC-V core setting. Test list YAML lists all the directed and random assembly tests which can run on Swerve EH1 from this environment. 
Link LD is a general linker script used during test compilation. However, there are some linker files specific to the test which are placed in linker scripts directory. Core log to trace is used for converting the execution log from tracer into a specific format in CSV file. Swerve is a configurable core which comes with some predefined configurations. For now, we are using default configuration from Swerve EH1. Defiance file for RTL, testbench and directory tests are placed in snapshots directory. Swerve EH1 does not come with a tracer. We have implemented the tracer well enough which is required for functional verification in post sim comparison. RTL simulation YAML and Swerve CSR YAML list base commands for RTL compilation and RTL simulation and all the CSRs implemented in Swerve respectively. SimPy is a Python script similar to LM RunPy and is responsible for generation and execution of RTL compilation and simulation commands and post simulation comparison. Cover config is used for defining the top level tree for code coverage and wave stickle script is used for dumping the FSGB or VPD waves. And in the end we have a make file. It is a single file for running the whole flow. It provides variables like test name, seed for randomization and generation compilation or simulation options. Major targets are compile, gen, GCC compile, RTL sim, ISS sim, post compare, fcov and urgcov. So when we run the core integrate.sh script, it copies all the integration files to the integrated cores directory except one folder. Riskv-DV's modified files are copied to Google Riskv-DV directory in the root directory, whereas RTL files are copied from cores directory into integrated cores. So what are the future plans for LM Riskv-DV? Currently, the tests are being generated from SVUVM based source of RISC-VDV. It requires a simulator that has support for UVM. Good news is, RISC-VDV team is also porting the SVUVM based source into Python. So we plan to enable the very later, which can be used along Python. At present, we are doing post simulation checking with Spike ISS. Next, we will enable instruction by instruction comparison during co simulation with Spike ISS. There are three Swerve cores EH1, EH2, and EL2. We have integrated the Swerve EH1 for now. In the next phase, we will integrate the remaining two. We also have some other interesting open source projects. A small group of engineers are porting the Swerve EL2 from System Verilog to Chisel. We are also porting a UVM based test bench for Swerve. And last but not least, we took the torture test generator and extended it with vector extension. So it brings us to the end of this small talk. This is just an initial step towards setting up open source environments. I hope to see many of you use it or best contribute to it. We'd really appreciate to hear from you if you like it or have some feature request. Thank you very much.